Hey guys, it's your girl Shella, P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K, Shella's Creations Way, and I'm going to be making honey bun chicken breast sandwiches. Y'all check out my May featured channel, Channel Woods World. Y'all go show her some love, give her some support. Also, if you haven't became family with us, go ahead and do that today. All right, here we go. Hey guys, it's your girl Shella, P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K. Shella's Creations Way, and we're going to be eating this at P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K, Eat Good in Neighborhood, y'all. I'm here to make um, fried chicken, but I'm going to be marinating these chicken breasts because what we're going to have is something special. Y'all stay tuned, and you will see how this gets reinvented. Oh, yeah. So let's add our seasonings to this. I have my seasoned salt. And y'all know how I do. I just put everything on top and then I turn around and mix it all together, like giving it a, a bath. My season salt. And y'all, I got this new, this steakhouse seasoning. I know this is not steak, but it is some good seasoning. <clears throat> so I want to add this and open it up. Open this up. Today I'm in my little cooking prepping mood as far as marinating my meats. But y'all want to see that? That's some good stuff right there. Good and hearty and thick. So we're just gonna pour that on there. I do all my dry first and then I got my complete right here. Sprinkle a little bit of this. Get my black pepper. Get my Worcestershire sauce. I always do like a tablespoon or two of the uh, soy sauce, but I got these packs from the Chinese restaurant, so I'm going to go ahead and utilize these. Two packs. Okay. And then, mustard. And then last but, not, last but not least, an onion zest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zest this onion. I'm going to slide this over here. Bring the onion over here. And then we're going to cut this onion open. Let me peel the skin off of it. Now what I'm doing today is I have two different meats. The first one y'all saw me put in the marinade was the my ribs, and this one right here is going to be the chicken. I decided to do, this is my marinating day, y'all. This day, I'm going to get all my meats marinated. So, you guys are going to see me doing this first thing in the morning. All right, so, I'll bring the meat right back over here. And I'm going to take this onion, and I'm just going to zest this baby. Cause I'll, I'll get all this good old juice, all this good old onion juice. And that makes the flavors more stronger. It's better than onion powder, better than sliced onion. That way this marinade is gonna get all this good old onion juice marinated in the skin of the meat. Oh yeah. So we're gonna do this. So you get at least a quarter cup. Or two to three tablespoons. So we're gonna get as much zested in here as we, as we can. Out of the small onion. And that's all you need is a small onion. I 
y'all see that? It's almost half that onion. All that good old zest here. I think that's gonna that's gonna do it. It's starting to get to my eyes. <laughs> oh yeah, get all this down in there. Now let me try to get a close look at that. See that? Now I'm gonna take and mix all of this up. Give it a good old bath. I know some people wear gloves when they do this, but I just like to get into it with my hands. <clears throat> That's what I like to do. I like to get in that skin and just massage all this goodness all up in here. Don't that look pretty? Look at that. <clears throat> Some big breasts. I got four breasts in here. I was going to cut them again, but I'm going to leave them like this. I'm gonna leave them just like this. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, the last breast. All right, so I'm gonna let this go in the refrigerator for a couple of hours, let it get marinated. Let all those good old seasonings get all up in that meat. Oh yeah. All right, so we will see y'all back in a, in a few once this gets all marinated to see what we're gonna be doing with this because it's gonna be a surprise. Oh yeah. All right, you guys, these are the chicken breasts that I had marinating overnight. Mm -mm -mm. All that good old seasoning, as you can see, has really got into this meat. Oh yeah. So what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna start the breading process. I have all purpose flour. If you're frying, you don't use the um, self-rising use the all-purpose and I'm going to also add in with this some panko breadcrumbs probably about like a half cup okay and I'm just going to give it a quick little to make sure the flour is mixed and as you can see I'm not adding any more seasonings to this mixture and I have my fry pan on the stove with some grease in it right here there's some regular vegetable oil whatever you want to use all right, so then I'm gonna take my breast and put it in my mixture. And I'm gonna actually pat it down in there so I make sure it's like really coated. We have four breasts, so I'm gonna do all four breasts like that. Okay. Let me let's lay this on the lid over here. Shake off any excess. First, let me just put some little flour on my lid too. There we go. All right. And then do the next breast. And these are actually some really big breasts. I was surprised when I got it from the grocery store. It was at a pack of four. Actually, I thought it was a lot more in there because I, I thought it was smaller. <laughs> but no, just pack of four. All right, so this is the, the second breast. Got the third breast. Make sure you get all that up in there. Third. 
and the final breast right here. Now, if I had kids over, then I would have cut them lengthwise in half or in a more 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 pieces. But since it's just adults eating, of course, you know you want to get your your full portion of the breast. And this is a whole breast, y'all. This is a whole breast. All right. So we have all four breasts over here. All right. We're gonna get rid of that pan. We're gonna get rid of that. And we're gonna bring these babies over here to the stove. So we're gonna fry them up. Let me wash my hands. Y'all yeah, know the 20 second rule for washing your hands. I said you can wash them longer, wash them longer. Especially dealing with raw meat. All right, hands are washed. I'm gonna bring y'all over to the stove and we're gonna put these babies in one by one. One by one by one. One by one by one. Y'all see that? And oh, lower. I don't wanna bump y'all head. There we go. All right. Let's get this party started over here. I'll put this over there. Now get my meat. Whew. Now this meat is heavy. I'm gonna try and try and put it in this pan is without grease popping on me. Oh yeah. There we go. Right now it's on medium high and put it on medium low. Just let it sit in that grease. Probably let that cook in that grease each side probably about 10 minutes. And you know, as y'all saw, I got my potatoes in the oven. They're still in the oven. Y'all get that ASMR moment. <laughs> so you guys, this is pretty much what I'm gonna do with all four breasts. I'm done. I know y'all don't need to see me frying all four breasts. So I'll let you see the one and then I'll off camera finish frying up the three and then we'll bring everything together. And you will see, you know how KFC has the, um, the donut chicken sandwich. Well, I'm not too keen on the donuts because that's, to me, that's just too sweet. So why I decided, because you know, we always, you I always remember chicken if you do chicken and waffles or if you do uh, chicken with honey. So I decided to get honey buns and honey buns are gonna be the bread for this breast. Let me put y'all my honey buns. Get the honey buns and I'm gonna take and cut them this length, um, lengthwise with my bread slicer, and then uh, we're gonna toast these up in the oven. But that'll be next. Take a look at the bottom. Oh yeah, really pretty y'all. I hope y'all are enjoying this video, and if you are, y'all go subscribe to my cooking channel, P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K, Shiloh's Creations Way, and watch us eat this mukbang it on P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K, Shiloh's Creations Way. I mean, mukbang it on P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K, eating good in the neighborhood. Oh, yeah.
So I'm gonna flip this baby over. And don't that chicken look pretty? Let me turn the light on. Turn the light on. I can see. Beautiful piece of meat. So you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and fry all the other ones up after this gets done. And we'll meet you back at the counter so we can cut up that honey balloon. All right, you guys, this is what I have to go with our chicken breasts that I have marinating. We got these potatoes. I'm just gonna cut the potatoes up, slice the onions with it, put these seasonings in it. I got some chives, I got some french fry seasoning, and some cayenne pepper, and some butter. I'm just gonna put it in the pan, y'all, in the oven for about 350 to about 30 minutes. All right, you guys, so that's what I'm gonna do with these potatoes. Okay, so I have the potatoes cut up in a pan. I have my onions and I use half of a stick of butter and I'm just gonna lay the butter around in the pan. I did lightly grease the bottom of it, just lightly. So I'm gonna take these little pieces of butter, stick them around here. And last but not least, I will put my seasonings on. I always wait until I get all my veggies in the pan before I put my seasonings on because when the when the butter starts melting it's gonna get all down in that goodness so french fry seasoning you guys we're gonna put some of this seasoning on there oh yeah be a little heavy handed I want to make sure you get all up in there and then of course cayenne pepper don't tell Frank <laughs> that on there okay and then last but not least we're gonna put some little chives mm -hmm. all right you guys so I'm gonna wrap this in foil and I'm gonna put it in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes see you in a bit All right, you guys, so we got the honey buns, and I actually froze the honey bun so it will be easier for me to cut it. I froze it, and then I took it out the freezer um, so it won't be too hard that I couldn't cut it with this bread knife. So let's see how this works, y'all. Let's see how this works. So, and then I'm gonna take, well, I guess I could have cut it a little better than that. I'm gonna put one side down on this, in this foil pan, and I'm gonna toast it in the oven to get it a little firmer. Or it's even more like a bread texture. All right. Let's see if the second one's gonna come out better. I'll probably have that one, since the bun is smaller. I can cut it right. I'm trying to avoid cutting my hand because this knife is sharp. So anybody out there trying to cut things and it's still a little frozen on the inside, but that's okay. Yeah. There we go. All right, look at that. All right, so we're going to turn this face down. I got a little oil on the pan. And I'm going to put this in the oven. I still have the potatoes in the oven, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven and let it get a little more drier, dried out, uh, to more of a bread consistency. And this is what we're gonna use as our buns for our chicken sandwiches. Oh yeah, so y'all just wait. The chicken's still frying and we're gonna 
be at the table. We're gonna show you dollars. Goodness. P R O M O S C K. Eat good in the neighborhood. And y'all saw this on Promo SDK, Shilla's Creations Way.